Hello everyone and thank you for joining me on this special Life in Bama. On this Life in Bama, we are going to continue to look through the store Urban Suburban on Crestwood Boulevard in Birmingham. And after that video, I'd like to share with you about these special pieces that I have here. Stay tuned. I know here at Urban Suburban there are probably so many things I missed. I see Mickey and R2-D2 on this shelf. But I also see this clock, the horse clock. We used to have one like this, but the metal deteriorated in it. But this one's in pretty good shape for $40. I just fell in love with this wall of rabbits, rabbits and carrots. The local artists did such a nice job on them, painting them. They're so cute, and the gold that's on them just makes them shimmer in the light. So pretty. Be nice for Easter. This booth caught my eye because it was so colorful. And then I noticed there was a whole collection of pigs. These are salt and pepper shakers. It's somebody's collection of piggies. These are so cute. I think I have a bank that's a little bit bigger than these, but it's the same style of those little pink ones. I think that's some kind of a tea kettle or, or something. And the bank. And then these little pigs that look like sausages and a bank for my Cadillac. Money for my Cadillac. He's $12, and even though he's averting his eyes, he's saying, take me home, take me home. This old table caught my eye with the two drawers. Vintage metal top table for $139. It looked like the top was in good shape. And look, there are two of the RCA Victor dogs. Notice the Brady Bunch and the Three's Company pictures on the wall. And the puppy dog pictures in the basket. These chairs have such a nice shape to them. says they are vintage 1960s Parker Noel chairs, $750 for the pair. This is a very pretty French clown music box. And here are two blue birds beside a blue plate. And the head vases admire them from a distance. <laughs> This is not unusual for a whole pottery vase, and it is in good shape. This seems to be a whole collection of these classic books by various authors. These are 60. 1950s cat on beehive cookie jar. I should have looked at the mark on this bird. I wonder if it is a mold that's been painted. There were some interesting things to look at in this booth, including the matador and bull wall hanging. Forty-five for the velvet painting. And you have this huge stereo here. You remember when this was the thing to have? I hope you enjoyed looking around with me. Now I'm going to tell you a bit about the ceramic pieces that I have at home. If you had watched my last video on Urban Suburban, you may have seen that I commented on a matador and bull set that they had for sale. And that got me to looking at the matador and bull that I had made for my dad back in 1981. And I did a lot of ceramics back during that time. 
and I did have a mark. You can see on this Easter egg that I did that I had a mark. And I made several ceramic pieces. The woolly matador was one of them. I also made a ginger jar that I'll show at some point. And these Easter eggs, I made several of them. One thing I noticed on the matador and bull was the maker's mark, the mold maker's mark. And so that got me to looking particularly at this large piece that my mother had. Now, I don't know that my mother made this, the lady that we did ceramics with that fired and hooked her kiln and we bought the greenware from and everything, she may have made this and my mother may have purchased it from her. But the main thing about it is, is it has this lovely flower, the decal on it, and then it has a maker's mark on it. And the maker's mark is A-R-N-E-L apostrophe S, R nails. And so I was just fascinated to see this because this bowl and pitcher is in really good shape. And I had had it stored away, so when I saw the matted or in bowl a, a mark on it, naturally I went ahead and started looking at my other pieces. And so the Easter egg here doesn't have a mark on it, only mine like I showed you. But this one being the Arnell's mold was just really interesting. I also have a frog that's an Arnell's mold, and I believe that uh, my mother purchased it from the lady that did the ceramics oh so many years ago. But I thought this was so pretty and I thought I would share that information with you. Not only do you want to look for Hull and McCoy and all that, but that the homemade, someone, something that someone has uh, painted or created that has that mark on the bottom of it, that is just as important and fascinating to me. So I appreciate you joining me. I hope you've enjoyed my video. Make sure to subscribe to Life in Bama. Thanks. We'll see you next time.